One of the things I really love about the StreamYard platform is the fact that they really engage with their community. Every Sunday they have a town hall meeting um, and it, they've been doing it, I think it's 103 episodes now, um, pretty much since they started the company, since they started having clients and subscriptions, they've been doing this town hall every Sunday. And so if you ever go to that town hall, you're going to see me in the comments. Um, and so this past Sunday, they, un, you know, shared with us the, some pretty major uh, updates, major for some folks. I have to agree, major for some folks. I, I have to watch how I say game changer because uh, some of you have been really beating me up in the comments for using that term. But it is major for those who are not able to do some of the customizing that you know, is possible uh, if you just you know, let your imagination run wild. So having some other functions and features in the platform really do help. And I'm gonna show you some of those latest features as well as recap some of the other ones in this video. So let's buckle up, and let's figure out how it all works. How, how, how it all works. Come on. So here I am on my desktop looking at the StreamYard broadcast page and I'm just going to go right into my test room and bring this up here. Hopefully we can do this in a short amount of time so that we're not uh, <laughs> we're not we're not stuck in this video for another half hour like we did last week. Although I must say you guys have really been um, responding well to that video and I'm excited about uh, some of the comments that I'm seeing there. So. Here we are on the screen here. So just to do a quick recap on some of the things that they have added to the platform, um, the ability for you as the host and for your guests to view the stream in full screen mode. So you can actually take and make the entire stream full screen, which is pretty cool and um, view it this way. I, I, I've had that question from several guests uh, um, in during live streams that I was producing and on screen you still have some of the options that you're used to at the bottom um, unmute start start and stop cam cam mic which uh, brings up some of the other things there share screen invite and of course you can click the exit full screen button or you can just hit the escape piece escape key if I can speak to be able to bring that back to the normal level another thing that they have added is um, audio avatars and so you'll see here this check that this box is unchecked which means that i have audio avatars turned off which basically um spoofs voice of god mode right so and for those that aren't sure like what in, what in the world is he talking about i'm going to explain um show out show an avatar when a user's camera is off uncheck this if you want users to be completely hidden when their camera is off of course you can read that quicker than i can but what that means in layman's terms is if I have my I have my camera off right now, and so if I if I actually have this checked, um, what you'll see when I add my add myself to the screen is the audio avatar, and that's what you see on the screen right now. That's my audio avatar. I've uploaded that into the system um, so that I have a little caricature there uh, as an audio avatar. And and if I was unmuted, you would see like a little audio circle going out from my I'm going to unmute myself and you can see um, that audio thing is there every time I speak you can see that that, that audio uh, feature is there so it's kind of giving you a little bit of a signal that yes we're hearing this person even though we don't have video from them so this is the audio avatar which is great and this is what we're used to but the this uh, functionality uh, of being able to uncheck this means that I'm going to read it. Kirk Nugent is in the stream with audio only. So yes, you're only seeing the background, but if we were live, you would be able to hear my voice in the stream because um, I'm in the stream, but just with audio only. And that could be helpful, right? That could be helpful when you're doing, when you have guests who have joined with audio, they have no camera, or if you had like a kind of a call-in kind of a scenario where it's like, 
I can connect into your system, into StreamYard, but I can't actually turn on my, my, my camera so you can bring them in and not mess up your layout. Think about that from a design perspective. Also think about it from a producer perspective as well. You have the option to uh, enter the stream and maybe tell the on-screen talent, on-screen host that they're muted and they're speaking to the audience, but they can't hear them. That has happened to me multiple times. So that option is a really good one. I'm glad that they've added that. Another option that they've added, and this was in our previous um, StreamYard update video, uh, that I just think it, you know, it warrants mentioning again that the producer can go and change the audio settings for the guest. The producer has the option to go and change audio settings for the guest. So if you have a guest who has a professional microphone, you know, a podcast setup, whatever, they've got an audio interface, they've got on headphones, they can control their own gain, you can come into the system and just uncheck echo cancellation for that guest. That makes life very simple. You can also go and automatically adjust their volume. Now, let me say that differently. You can uncheck automatically uh, adjust mic volume so that you can adjust the mic volume yourself. And you have this, this fader here, and this has saved me several times recently, uh, being able to turn up a guest's volume when their audio was a bit low. So really glad that they've added that feature there. I'm gonna check this back to leave things the way that it was. Um, so I've got them added to the stream. I'm gonna remove them from there. Uh, those are some of the some of the updates that they've show, shared with us. Um, another update that they've done is to add two themes. Now this was one of the updates that they added that they shared with us this past Sunday in the town hall. They added the bubble theme and the block theme. So I usually use minimal. I'm gonna go to a comment here, the standard comment. I hate this comment, but it's the one that they have in the system, right? So this is this this is what the if I go back to brand, this is what the minimal theme looks like for comments. You have this the profile picture, you have the person's name, kind of sorta in bold, and then you have what they had to say underneath it with the brand color as a bar on the side. So that's minimal and that's what I like. The default one, this was always there. This is what it looks like for comments. And I, and it's good. I mean, I, I've seen people using them more and more lately, actually. Um, it's a pretty cool uh, way to bring comments on screen. But the for me, the aspect ratio is off. It's like this, the videos are smaller than the comment and I, I don't want that. So um, I like the minimal because it's just, you know, adds to the to the whole thing. But now they've added block bubble, which is a whole different look and feel. This is pretty cool, I think. And you can, I mean, first of all, the, the white background with the black text is really clean. It's a, it was a good design choice. Um, so kudos to StreamYard for that. And then, then they've got the block one as well, which is a kind of a play on the default one. Same kind of, you know, big profile picture name out there and then has the same white background black text as you would have had in bubble. So, I, so you know, pretty cool that they've they've made this available. And again, if you don't have the capacity or the time, <laughs> interest even, to customize your lower thirds and your banners or even your background for that matter, this is a really great option that they've added. So I'm glad that they're doing that. But to be clear also, this is something that some of the other uh, platforms, some of the other competitors have had for quite some time, um, the ability to make some changes there, two level uh, comments, different things, and some different layouts as well. So just keep that in mind, um, even as you look, but I still believe StreamYard is pound for pound, one of the best um, cloud-based web streaming options that's on the block. So that's what that looks like for banners, but this also does, uh, sorry, for comments, but this also changes your banners as well. So if we go back to comments, turn that off, come back to banners, I'm going to pick a, I wanted to pick a short one, here's one, video only for you. All right, so this is what the, where are we on, block? This is what the block banner looks like. This is what it looks like in bubble, not very different, but I want you to notice that the animation for bubble is that it comes up from the bottom. So if we go to a block, you see it kind of just appears. And I think that's the same for minimal, just kind of appears. Def default, again, appears, but bubble kind of comes up from the bottom. I don't know, I thought block, okay, block comes in from the side. So that's what I thought they said in the, 
in the um, town hall. So Block comes in from the side, Bubble comes up from the bottom. The other two just kind of appear on screen. They fade in, but they don't come in from any, you know, have an animation added to them. So these are the, these are the, this is the the major update or the main update, I should say, that StreamYard shared with us this week, which was, which I think was pretty good. Another update that is not as new, but because um, I've had it for some time, even though they did mention it in the the town hall this past uh, Sunday, but I, I I've had it for some time. Is the is the change to uh, the video sizes? So um, or some of the sizes, I should say. So overlays now are up to twenty meg, which is pretty good because uh, you can you know high res, high quality uh, overlays and content that you can do. But here is the the bigger one is that they've changed the the max video length to ten minutes, so that's double, and they've changed the max video file size to 200 meg from 100 meg so that's double as well now the way that i do my live streams that's not going to make much of a difference for me because i uh i don't usually if i'm playing pre-recorded content it's probably more than 10 minutes so it won't make a difference for me um if i'm just playing a video clip to add you know a visual aid for my live stream then i'm probably not going to have it be more than two or three minutes at max uh, the point is that you're li if you're live streaming, you're live, right? That's at least one of the premises that I take toward it. So, but here, what that does, this this additional t 100 meg allows me to not degrade my video. So I have a, if I have a 45 second video from a guest on who's going to be in my live stream, I can I don't have to actually take it and compress it on like Cloud Convert or one of these sites. Um, I can actually play the video as it was sent to me at that quality level it was sent to me um, because 200 meg does allow me to upload those videos. A slightly larger file size, of course, means the, that I can actually have uh, a 1080p video play through the system. And I do have uh, 1080p with my account as I have that subscription level with StreamYard. So I do have that ability. So just, just giving you some of the context in terms of how I see some of these updates, but this is a, a, a good one for, for those who are, who have been waiting, who want, you know, who have had clips that are a little over five minutes and you're like, man, I really would like to do something there. I know for me, like even my countdown clocks are usually uh, somewhere around four minutes, 30 seconds. And I do that because I didn't want to get right up to the limit, but now I can actually maybe do a countdown clock that's la larger with uh, with with this new update um, and and new video file size and video length. So those are good things that they've done, and I'm excited that they're continuing to listen to the community, continuing to hear that the things that we think could help to tweak the platform and make it better and and allow for producers and for just general live streamers to be able to go live. I still believe Streamyard is the lowest bar for entry um a lot of my clients i tell them folks just go ahead and get yourself a ten dollar stream yard plan and you'll be good to go and and i think i'm gonna kind of end there the um one of the last things i wanted to share with you is that stream yard has uh done a a a a, a new plan all right i want to change my plan here and so you have the free plan which was zero but then you also have this basic plan, um, which is which does give you the ten on-screen guests, gives you you know custom everything here, logo overlays, backgrounds. It's very low bar for entry, and then you do get uh, multi-stream to three destinations. For a lot of people, that is more than enough. Um, unlimited streaming. Um, so this is a, a a new plan. Over the Thanksgiving holiday and Black for Black Friday, they had this at half, so it was ten dollars a month. I was just unheard of. I was telling everybody that could listen, go and get that plan. So um, I'm again, one of those things where it's like StreamYard is really listening to the community. They're really engaging. Um, and in terms of some of the features that they want to add to the platform, I know of one that should be coming in first quarter uh, 2021. I don't want to say what it is, but if you ever see me on the StreamYard town hall asking a question, you know that this is the thing that I'm I'm waiting on. I think it's going to be a fairly welcomed update for the StreamYard community. So we I've, I've done a little bit of a recap. And so we went over being able to do full screen 
um, being able to do audio avatar and quote, quote unquote, voice of God mode, um, being able to edit audio settings for yourself and for your guests who are on screen, um, being able to turn off uh, echo cancellation and adjust their gain um, manually, really good options that they've given us there, really like those. Then of course, the video length and video size have been updated, doubled both of them. So 200 meg for uh, size and 10 minutes for length is the, is, the, is the cap. And those have their own ramifications and their own options that they open up, own, own doors that they open up. Um, and then they've given us these two additional themes uh, for called bubble and block. And so, you know, just depending on how you play with that, comments look a little bit different and banners look a little bit different depending on which one you want to go with. Um, and that, I really do believe that that, you know, black text on white background is a, is a clean look. And just depending on what your brand color is, that'll determine what that other color is on screen. Uh, so really good options that they're rolling out for uh, the user community and they're really listening to us. Uh, and, then this, and again, this is, you know, something that I want to learn from StreamYard. I want to listen to you. I'm hoping that these videos are giving you value um, that we are hitting on topics that you are thinking about and and really are able to use them in a practical way to, you know, level up your live stream. So let us know in the comments, you know, what do you think about the video? Where should we go next? What are some of the things that you are looking forward to hearing? What do you want to learn? What are some areas that you're kind of confused and you would love somebody to just kind of break down this one particular topic? Uh, let us know in the comments because we would love to engage with you around that. We're putting together our, our video schedule for 2021. We are not going anywhere. We're staying right here. As I've mentioned before, we have a goal. Our, our next goal, I should say, is to hit 5,000 subscribers. Um, we're, we've, we've already passed 1,600, and we're hoping that we can crack that 2,000 mark before the end of the year. And I know that's a tall order because end of the year is coming fast. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, we've got a lot of content already. I'm doing a 31, uh, 31 live streaming tips uh, every day in the month of De December. So that's going right now. We've got a, a video production uh, series in the month of December for the live show, Mondays at 5.30 Central Standard Time. So you want to check that out. And we also are uh, looking to do some more content as we get into 2021, have a number of videos that people have requested. So we're going to do those. But as we add to that content calendar, that content schedule, we'd love to hear your feedback. And so if you are new, check out some of the things that are out there. Please take a second right now and click subscribe. We would really truly appreciate that for all of our HIAW family, our regulars, folks who check out our videos and who we engage with in the comments. Can't thank you enough. You are the bread and butter. You're the reason why we do what we do. And uh, we're, we're hoping that you continue to stick with us and where we may falter that you will continue to, to, to stick it to us and let us, hey man, we'd like to see this. We'd like to see that. We wanna engage with you around this content, around this platform, around this community that we're building of tinkerers, of folks who wanna peek behind the veil a little bit, who wanna figure out how those puzzle pieces fit together, um, get a little bit more than surface level knowledge of what's happening and what's going on so that you can understand how it all works. We'll see you in the next video. How, how, how it all works. Come on. Oh.